Hey guys, my name is Jeremy and today I'm actually here joined by a good friend of mine for actually over 10 years. His name is Regis and he recently just got a bachelor's in illustration, graduated from Art Center. And I just thought it'd be very, very interesting to bring him along to my channel for the first time. I'm actually having a special guest and he's going to talk about his life at Art Center, you know, schoolwork, projects and whatever it is. So I will definitely leave his Instagram down in the description below so you guys can check out his artwork and whatnot. Thanks for coming along, Regis. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's really cool, man. So I just want to know, like, what was it like being an illustration major, right? Like I'm talking about like your balance, your your school life balance, your, you know, homework assignments projects and load so i'd say it's a pretty uh, interesting journey throughout the whole uh process of going to art center i guess in the beginning it's it, it feels very like heavy load because you're trying to learn the traditional sense of art at first but then like over over the terms you get to do your own type of projects and like do your own type of materials and stuff but at first it's 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 pretty uh heavy loaded so when you say like heavy load, I know you mentioned before, like there's a lot of hands-on stuff. Like, can you dive a bit more into like your hands-on work? What did you exactly do yeah. before you jump into the, you know, digital um, aspect of it? Yeah, like one of the first classes I remember taking was a class called materials. And you literally would have to like practice with like wood carving, using um, like drills, trying to work with um, resin, like pouring making molds of stuff the hillside building they would have a giant workshop of wood tools i guess you would call them but i don't know if you've seen those things but they have like they have like cutting tables and like drills and like all, all the other stuff and how did you transition from like hands-on to more like digital like was it just the different classes you're taking or as it is those are usually the requirements at first like you have to take those in order to like progress to the next uh, i guess next level of classes which were, i guess were mainly digital stuff but, but yeah. you coming in, you coming in as an illustration, like should people expect that as well? Like just being more hands on and drilling and doing all this stuff, even as like an illustration major, like what if you're like a, a graphic designer or something? More yeah, of that aspect? no, uh, during those classes, I, I had I, uh, I met a lot of people that weren't weren't in illustration. There were a bunch of people in like graphic design, film, photography. So as a whole, I think our center is trying to um, get you familiar with uh, with hands-on uh, experiences with like actual materials first before diving into like I guess your own major. And you briefly mentioned to me before, at least uh, like an advice on attending like community college um, before you know jumping into art school and art center specifically. And like, what is a reason behind you know community right. college or jumping Definitely. right into? Definitely when it comes to Art Center, it's not the cheapest. And so uh, you really want to be able to utilize your time there as much as possible. So one of the highly uh, recommended um, tips I could probably say is, even though I didn't do it, but I've heard a lot of friends uh, attempt it. But basically, go to uh, community college first, get all the mm -hmm. credits, and then transfer to Art Center. Therefore, like you, you won't have to waste your time with doing like general these, education uh, general classes. education mm -hmm. humanity classes stuff that you like you don't really need but the school requires you to like take before you can progress as well i could probably say for another tip there's something small but it's something that i did that kind of benefited myself um there is an art program called uh rhyme and arts that i took during high school mm -hmm. um if you're new to art or like trying to like use art as a uh as a career, I highly recommend mm -hmm. going to Rhyme Arts just to get a, a hands-on or a, an idea of how uh, you could start seeing art as a, a potential career. Mm -hmm. So you're basically saying maybe jump into like an art program prior to joining Art Center to get yeah. like your feet wet in the water, like you, to know what you basically want to do and see if it's the right path for you. Well, especially with Rhyme and Arts, uh, mm -hmm. for me, I got lucky because near the end of the program i was able to get a scholarship but i, I know that's mm. not meant for everyone there but it's, right. like, it's yeah not only is it a good like un like a good background on understanding of what you're trying to get into but it's more like you could also be awarded scholarships for your tuition essentially yes yep definitely okay so i do want to jump into you know aside from your classes your homework like what are some other ways you could you know get involved in campus life maybe like join some organizations you know what are some other ways to get involved in campus one small one that you can involve yourself with in the school is mostly uh taing mm -hmm. uh, although it's a kind of a, a hard thing to get into since everyone wants to try to get that one uh get that one position mm -hmm. uh i guess for any class it's it's pretty much useful because it allows you to get a one-on-one -on -one type of uh 
feedback and critique with uh, other students. And I, mm. I guess it helps with the yeah, providing uh, feedback for uh, everyone. And you also said um, like joining Discord groups and stuff is pretty helpful. And you're saying, you know, other than school related Discord groups, there's other art, more art related Discord groups that you could join. I, more specifically for me, or I guess our this time during like 2020 during COVID, it was really hard for us to kind of make uh, any uh, in-person connections with anyone because all obviously we're all in during Zoom. So mm -hmm. during my time here, uh, I was able to join a bunch of Discord groups that uh, allowed us to share our works, provide feedback, and have and like, host like some of these small community like activities for everyone to like be involved in. Um, okay. Despite despite not no longer being uh, in person or online as uh, as often, I still highly yeah. recommend joining these groups. Okay, so you're saying you should build a little community and network from these Discord groups. You're saying. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and some of them are huge now, so you'll be able to I guess just pick and choose which ones you guys would uh, would enjoy. So, do you have any just general advice? I know like going to art center. Obviously, the cost of art school isn't the cheapest. What are some, you know, some ways to um, maybe save money as a first time student or incoming student? Like what are some tips that you could give on like saving material money or or whatever it may be? Well, for one, the second you join Art Center, you're, you're given a uh, a constant discount for uh, art art places. Um, OK, one one would be like Blix near uh, mm -hmm. Pasadena. Right. Uh, you, yeah, you, you constantly get a student discount, which helps a lot when it comes to saving money. Um, okay, so you're saying Art yeah. Center is pretty nice on just like pretty generous on giving students discounts in general. Definitely, and also when it comes to, to its own to its own uh, store inside the campus, it also provides a discount for students okay. as well. So that's it's still a win-win no matter where you go. Got it. Okay. Talk about like some struggles that you've had, um, maybe in Art Center. Like maybe you did go over like you know. Uh, pulling all-nighters before or they're just having a bunch of work that you have to get done within the day and uh, what what is it like um, just you know complete honesty right for people who are coming in what can they really expect in terms of the workload i really want to make my time there worth because obviously it's a lot of money you're, you're kind of it's it's kind of a struggle knowing that mm -hmm. um every every second counts being in that school so you really want to make most of your time there so you definitely try to um Try to learn as much as possible for myself and i guess push myself and and like always doing like one extra hour of work and or just trying to do that one nice detail just to like ensure that i uh do a good job on my projects one of the struggles i i had was taking art center a little too early coming right out of high school my skills weren't as refined mm -hmm. and so that's why i do recommend going to community college that's just for the um the fact that you get to save money there while you're able to look at, use online resources to kind of build your uh, your skills right before going into Art Center, so that you're when, when you get in there, you're ready. You already know most of the stuff there, and you wouldn't have to like struggle with trying to uh, I don't know learn these things that you that you should have already uh, known already. But last but not least, you know, obviously you've graduated now, and I know a lot of people who are about to graduate Art Center. They have the graduation art wall and. You have a wall of your own and displaying all your works you know can you go over a little bit on like setting it up who who uh, attended that uh, event and you know what was it like just having your own wall i mean it looks it must be such a nice like display right like can you go over a little bit more on that yeah of course um right before you graduate there is a class called portfolios lab and they kind of guide you into um, setting up the grad wall choosing what work to put up there um, you design your own resume, your own like business cards, postcards. You get to choose the um, the wall setup you get to have on the um, during the grad show. You you'll only have it for a few days. On the first day, it'd be it would be I guess a career day where mostly job recruiters would come and visit. But then mm -hmm. during your graduation, on the day of graduation, you'll have more people, but it'll be more of friends and family and other like students coming by to see stuff. So. I think if you really want to uh, try to focus on your uh, on the first day of the grad show where the um, job recruiters come through, but definitely uh, right, yeah, All right, yeah. Because I remember obviously coming to buy to your graduation, being your friend for so long. It's like it's pretty nice to see what you've done. And do you want to highlight like some of the works that you've done? I know one unique thing about your wall is I know for sure is you have the VR um, headset for people to try on and. 
just briefly mention about you know the other works that you've had you know your, your unfolding story and just how, how did you get into all of this in general um i guess i really wanted to find a, a way for me to stand out with my art because i know how when it comes to illustration it, there's very plenty of us out there so i, I kind of want to help myself stand out so i decided to ch choose a, uh, a path that was really really niche at the right. time was which was vr i think when it came, came to vr i really enjoyed the aspect of doing everything myself when it came to like building stuff and like design designing things i could uh, and animating as well it was all in one program which allowed me to kind of create a bunch of like storytelling environments so i appreciate uh trying out this new experimental uh, vr and i i do want to say like when having that vr um works that you've done obviously art center itself they didn't teach you how to use that vr um knowledge right it's more like you kind of self-taught yourself but you've applied the skills you learned in art center in that vr program i, I guess when it comes to like the actual like understanding of like designing in a room or designing characters uh i've obviously had to first start out by drawing them so by, by by like by having the scale already like foremost to like, just draw draw it on like on a on a digital uh screen i was mm -hmm. able to re basically recreate it in uh in virtual reality with much ease due to like my, my prior knowledge already so I, I i definitely think it goes hand in hand i guess merging the two you know that i pretty much that wraps up a lot of the things i wanted to talk about is there any other you know last pointers last few tips you want to share to maybe incoming students or current students there, um, you know, who are just trying to, you know, graduate and be successful in this, uh, in the art center. When going into art center, I guess, or in any um, art communities, don't be afraid to like reach out and like have that mentality that you want to constantly learn more. Everyone out there is like super friendly or at least within the communities and art center. So don't be mm -hmm. afraid. Always try to ask for things and to always try to like learn learn more because I, I regret by not like raising my hand in class or just i guess staying, staying a little bit quiet because i'm afraid of what they'll say Got definitely it. i really highly recommend just shooting in the dark and just asking asking away and just trying to get as much as, as you can out of these uh out of these classes all right well thank you so much for you know coming by to my channel sharing your experience and stuff i know this is kind of this is kind of funny i mean we've been no, friends no, and we, you. we never done anything course, formal like this but you know, it is what it is. And hopefully, you know, whoever's watching this video, you know, you guys will find it very, very helpful, especially if you're, you know, joining art school or art center, it is specifically. So yeah, thanks again for joining me, man. And thank you for sharing your experience. All right, thank you, man. Cool. All right, so that's my friend Regis, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.